Former President George W. Bush is relatively new to the art scene, but since leaving the Oval Office, he took up painting portraits of some men and women who have served our country. Former President Bush is releasing a book of portraits called Portraits of Courage, and one of the veterans featured in the book spoke to our sister station, WFAA in Dallas, about his newfound friendship with the former Commander-in-Chief and how it has made the ultimate mark on him. Marcus Moore has the story. When the U.S. took the fight against terrorism overseas to Iraq and beyond, Will Williamson was among the thousands of soldiers who put his life on the line. He nearly lost his in battle, first surviving a helicopter crash in 2003, and then two years later taking a round through his flight helmet, knocking him unconscious. As a young soldier, he could not have imagined that one day the same man who sent him into combat would become his friend. Um, it's, it's real. The two developing a friendship through the Military Service Institute, its mission to help veterans transition into civilian life. The president often hosts them at his Crawford Ranch for bike rides. They are the veterans President Bush included in his new book, Portraits of Courage. But just to be thought of in that caliber of people uh, and to be chosen to be in the book is, uh, is a great honor. Humbling. Williamson recalls the pride the former president had when he first told him about the portraits he'd been working on. And he pulls out an iPad and he starts going through the pictures and, uh, you know, he's scrolling through all these things and then he pulls my picture up and he goes, this, you know, that's what I'm going to put in the book. A book that chronicles the sacrifice of men and women who answer the call at a critical time. A chance to Even honor. then, the president went into combat zones to thank his soldiers. But most of the time I was out, you know, doing mission stuff or sleeping for the next mission, you know. Uh, so I would generally miss all that. Uh, so it was a unique, unique experience to, to meet him and, and just to be able now to call him a friend. You know, speaks volumes to his character. And that was Marcus Moore reporting.